Hello, hello. I am starting a video for the fourth time today, uh, working from my computer instead of from my phone. So we'll see if it works this time. What I have done is I did a chain of 15 and then I double, I did a, a started my next one, I skipped two and you go into the third hole and did a row of 13 double crochets. Okay, so you start with 15, your next row you go into uh, do 13 double crochets. Okay, then we are going to go back in and I want you to do one double crochet right into the corner, which is that third stitch there, because you got two that you chained up there. This is your third stitch. Okay, now you're going to skip one and do five in one. Okay, these are all double crochets today. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, pause the video if you need some extra time. I want you at this point to pull your hook out, but hold on to it so it doesn't mess up your loop. Then you're just going to stick your hook back here in the fifth one. One, two, three, four, and five. Then you're going to go back in that hole there, yarn over, and pull it through both. Okay, now you're going to yarn over, in the very next one, you're going to double crochet one. In the next one, you're going to double crochet one. In the next one, you're going to double crochet five. There are a variety of ways to do these. You don't have to have the exact numbers. You can do it with single, double, or triple crochets. You can do it with um, skipping two in between, you can do it with skipping five in between, it just is, depends on how you want your baubles to turn out. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I'm going to take this out very carefully and let's see, nope, that one was counted wrong. That one was supposed to, is on this hole and not that hole. So I've only got four there, I need one more. Okay, and that might happen to you too, so make sure that you count them so that you're uh, bobbles are all the same size. Okay, now carefully take your hook out, go back in to just the V on the top. Okay, go in your hole there and yarn over and pull it through. Okay, yarn over, double crochet one, and then double crochet another one in a different hole, the next one, and you're going to do five in one. Okay, one, two, three, four, and five. Pull your hook out just to carefully. Okay. Go into the number five. Go into your uh, yarn here again. Yarn over and pull it through both. Okay, double crochet into the net one into the next two one into each of the next two. Okay, then we're going to double crochet five into the next one. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, that's five. Pull your hook out. Go in at the beginning at that fifth one back into your yarn, yarn over, and pull through both. Okay, now you're going to do a double crochet into that next hole there, and then you need one more double crochet right in the very end. So you're going to go right into that very end hole there. Okay, all right. Now, your spacing is good. You've got four total. You can make these different sizes by doing three, five, seven. Uh, I'd stick to the odd numbers in your baubles here, okay? And make sure that you count the Vs across here, okay? So I'm going to pull this loose so I can count them with you, okay? So you have um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 
13. Okay, and that's what we started with, and that's what we want uh, all the way up. We want 13 in each. Okay, now you're going to check, uh, do your two chain up, and turn your work. So we are always going from right to left, so my chain two will be here, then you turn your work. The baubles are in front now, and you need to do an entire row of double crochet. Okay, so we're going to do 13. Okay, one, two, and pause it if you need more time. It's okay to pause. Okay, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen is the last one. Okay. Now, all we're doing is double crochet, so again, you're going to chain two. Some people say chain three. That's okay as well. It just depends on what you think looks best. Turn your work. Now, the other reason that we do not do a bobble on this row is because it would point towards me, just like these pointed towards me when I was doing them. You want them all to be facing the same direction, or if you want them all to be facing the same direction, then you need to go ahead and only do them on one direction. Okay, so this one is going to be pointing me at me again.